I shot a match. It didn't go well. I shot the Rimfire Club match on the weekend and there's no way about it. I did not do well. I think for the last number of years, things have been very busy. Things have been flat out, not shooting as much as I used to. I've felt that I've had excuses and reasons for not doing well at matches. I've always had this underlying feeling that, oh yeah, well, I've been busy or I've been running matches or something on those lines. Uh, that's where my focus is. That's why I've not been doing great. I won't even shoot the match, which has really been the default. On the weekend, I shot a match and I was 11th out of 14. Truth be told, doesn't matter where I finished. I don't think I shot well. I know I could have shot better. I've often clung to excuses with bad backs or uh, or not time to shoot or we're too busy running matches or wh whatever it is. Excuses have been on the tip of my tongue. Excuses can make it okay to be mediocre. Excuses can make it okay to not develop, to have reasons in place as to why you can't do better. If I continue to use excuses in my shooting, I will probably stop shooting because it's too convenient to come up with an excuse that ORO or I was busy doing that or I was helping this new shooter, which are all wonderful things to do, by the way, but not when they're leveraged as excuses. Now it's time to be real. There, there are no excuses because I can give you an excuse as to why I missed targets or excuses as to why I wasn't focused or an excuse, but it doesn't mean any. It doesn't change my performance. All it does is it might sound plausible to you when I tell you, oh, I was not great on the weekend and, and here's why. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why I sucked. But more importantly, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to get better in those areas. So that stops. Make a commitment to you guys watching this video that uh, for the remainder of this year, I'm going to shoot as many matches as I can and, and continue on into the new year. Now, am I going to win? That's not the commitment I'm making because uh, I know the guys who are at the top and they practice a ton more than I'm willing to, but I will improve. I will identify some of the things that happen and I will put a plan in place to improve on that. Is that winning for me? Absolutely. If I go out there in three matches time and one of the things that I identify is no longer playing a factor, playing a role, that's a win to me. So join me, I'm going to rip my performance apart and uh, see how we go. All right, so let's start stage one. Stage one was left, right out. Uh, you had targets at 25, 50, 75, 100, 150, 200, two shots on each, and you would alternate between strong and weak side. Well, let's, let's watch this. Jump on in, start on the right side. Fairly comfortable position. All right, concentrated. This, I did not do well here. I, I really struggled uh, to be on my left-hand side. I, I, it's, and it purely comes down to not practicing. I need to practice that more. Simple as that. All right, should have kept the head down on the gun. I'm out of focus. That, that's not my fault. I'm not taking responsibility for that. Look at that. Plus he's throwing cases at me. I don't know if he's hitting me. I didn't notice it. <laughs> what a rude prick. Uh, see, not paying attention. Not paying attention. Ran through my 10 shots. Went to go for the 11th shot and and it had to do a whole uh, 30 seconds. So I, I, I got 10 out of 12, which I'm, I'm happy with. I think I actually hit everything or nearly everything I shot. But then just doing silly stuff like that, not not counting my shots, not keeping an eye on it. One of the, the ways around that is over course of time you, you practice and you shoot regularly, you can feel it close up on an on a empty chamber. Um, yeah, resolution, shoot more, shoot support side. I can do that. Stage two, this is smashing plates. Okay, this is an interesting one. I got eight 
uh, out of 10, amazingly, and I, I used up all the time. I timed out. Everyone else got 10 except for one guy got nine and timed out. Let's have a look at this one. This is a, a standing shot. You, your targets are about 25 meters away, so fairly easy one. I think you might see what happens with this one. Oh, I got, I, I got thrown by the start. I didn't hear a uh, gold standby. But anyway, I should be able to overcome that. That's, that's not the issue. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm, I'm really here. Here I'm really starting to wobble. I'm getting a lot more movement in there. What I'm starting to feel is my, my back or, or what end up being my shoulder seizing up. My shot rate starts slowing down. I'm not getting anywhere near the impacts that I was at the beginning of it. And and, and now I think you see that the, the gun is dipping. There's a lot more there. I've lost concentration. Again, I haven't counted my rounds. And I, um, I'm giving the RO some cheek. You watch me when I come back from this here. I'm really struggling to keep that gun stable. It's wobbling around like anything, and I'm I'm hating life right now. And I'm I'm just dancing all the way around. You see the front of the gun is just all over the shop by this stage. It, you can see there. That's that's pain. That's me stretching my back out. And, and I just, oh, I'm done. What I worked out is it's not actually my back that, that has problems here, it's up through my shoulders. And that was an excuse. It was legit, it hurt, but it's an excuse because I never did anything about it. I looked after my back, but this shoulder problem would always still flare up anytime I did anything like this. I subsequently went on to not shoot one of the stages because again, it was freestanding for the entire stage. So I zeroed that stage. This is about no more excuses. So I have today booked myself in to go see a physio to start rehab on my shoulder. That excuse is something that I'm tackling, working on to reduce. Now if it comes back that I've actually got major damage and, and there's, there's actually some real problem there, uh, I'm just gonna to have to navigate that. I, I'm not gonna let it be an excuse anymore. We do everything I can to resolve it onto the next stage. So barricade dilemma uh, was five different positions off the barricade and you could either shoot from each position uh, a target at 25 and 100 or a target at 50 and 75. I didn't do well here. I lost complete focus. Got one. Wrong target. I instantly shot 50 and 50 again, didn't think about moving. And that basically sums up the rest of the stage. I just was all over in what targets I was shooting, how the position I was building. I was racing to go from the first one at 50, which was comfortable, out to the second one and pushing it too quick and not taking conscious shots. Thrown out from the beginning, getting harassed by the other shooters, which I'm okay with, by the way, that, that's fine. And then uh, I think I picked up a, a couple, but yeah, just pretty poor from there. And then I think I uh, timed out uh, before I got to the end. I'm okay with timing out. Timing out with solid shots, that, that just means I need to work on speed. Where I went wrong with this was lazy stage prep. What I should have done, I had my little data card that sits on the side of the gun and it had 25, 75, 100, 150, 200 and the drops accordingly. I just left that for the match because that was all the targets we were going to shoot for the day and I just, just leave it for the match. What I will do next time is I'll wipe that one clean, I'll write on there 50 and 75 to prompt me that they're the two targets I need to hit because they'll sort of look up and I will, uh, I will shoot and, and see the 50 and then go, ah, oh, next target 75 and away you go. Those, those prompts, those reminders right in front of you, take the effort, even the fact that I have taken the time to write that down, that will be enough to get that in my head. More focused stage prep would have been all over that stage. I will work on that. The next stage was the standing stage, KOL. Zero, didn't even attempt it. Uh, I was already in pain. I still, what are we, five or six days later, I'm still got some pain in my shoulder from that day. So uh, I did, I chose not to shoot that one. There, there was another stage here uh, that I did not film called Piggy in the middle. I think I did pretty well at this one. 
uh, what are we, nine, top scored with nine. Uh, it all went fine. Really stable position. One position, three targets. So it was just bang, 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 bang. Fairly basic, single position. I'm impressed that I got my head around actually shooting them in order. So that one went all right. So this one is chicken rotisserie. Uh, it was it was a bit of fun stage. Um, it's not quite as practical, but you, you basically would shoot off a bench, uh, spin around, and then shoot off the bench again. Uh, you would leave the gun on the bench. Um, so it was good fun. Shout out to Travi, you'll see at the end of this video, uh, but that's worth watching. Check that out in a second. This is another uh, lesson in concentration. I did quite well here. I think I hit uh, nine out of 10. I got too into a rhythm uh, and didn't pay attention to where I was aiming and I shot off the side of one of the targets. And uh, I just repeated that shot five or six times and, and then just lost the concentration. So uh, it's very easy to get complacent. So that's the, that's the match. That's the match that I didn't do so well at. Now I had a couple of stages uh, that I did well, um, granted, but uh, to be fair, the stages that I did well on, pretty much everyone did well on. They were relatively easy stages. Uh, I need to work on this shoulder issue. I just haven't done it. I haven't been committed to it. We're gonna get this uh, this shoulder issue fixed. My stage prep needs work. I am going to write myself a list of what I do when I hear the brief through to actually starting the uh, the shooting of the stage because that lacked with consistency. I was all over the shop between that and, and that showed in my results. That I can definitely work on and improve and will do for, so for the next match. And from a practical point of view, I, I need to spend some more time behind the gun. I want to shoot off my support side a little bit more. So those three things, my shoulders, my stage prep and support side, I agree there is heaps more wrong with what I'm doing in those videos, but they're the three I'm going to tackle. I'm going to implement those before the next match and check back in. Now, I need to leave you with some gorgeous moments here from Travi. I don't know if you can see them fully in the camera, but Travi embraced the chicken rotisserie. That doesn't sound right. Travi did his 360 spins in the most compelling way possible. Cheers, guys. Enjoy. Yeah! <laughs> I hope that's still recording. Yeah! 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 Impact! Oh shit, I better hurry up. <laughs> Impact! Yeah! <laughs>